Grandma me, can you, Grandma me, can you tell me, can you finish the rest of Piggly Wiggly and Squiggly's birthday party? Well, that would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Okay. Okay, let's what they call recap. Recap means we're going to go back to the first chapter from Monday and hit the highlights so that if anybody didn't see that or hear that story, then they know what we're talking about today. So, remember, it was the Bigly Wiggly and Squiggly's sixth birthday. Woohoo! And Mama had planned on making a surprise birthday party. So, we left off when Mama called him in for lunch. One of her famous peanut butter and banana sandwiches. I, <laughs> all right, boys and girls, now stop laughing because I can hear you all the way through the camera. It's good. It is good. It's a good sandwich. Trust Grandmommy. Okay? Anyway, so they had their peanut butter and banana sandwiches, and then they went upstairs and they all got in the bathtub and they scrubbed and scrubbed because they had been playing, remember? They were playing, yeah, they were playing hide and go seek. And remember, Piggly hid in the mulberry bushes. Well, now the mulberry bush has all the little mulberries and some of them, they fall to the ground and they get squished and you turn purple if you get on those mulberries. And he had purple spots all over his body. So, Mommy Pig says, uh, You, Piggly, you get back in the tub. And you've got to scrub your purple spots all over you. So get the purple off. I'm not going to have a little purple pig going to a birthday party now. <laughs> so, Wiggly gets out and he gets dressed and Squiggly gets out and he gets dressed and finally Piggy gets out and he gets dressed. Well, Mama had surprised them. Now, you know Mama Piggly always likes to sew them shirts. So, Piggly gets, usually gets red and Wiggly gets blue yeah. and Squiggly gets green. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, that's what she bought them. And guess what this shirt had on it little birthday cakes and little candles and little balloons all over the shirt so piggly said whoa mama this is one of your prettiest shirts you made us i love this shirt especially because it's our birthday and so piggly got dressed and wiggly got dressed and squiggly got dressed and they all went down the stairs so wiggly says but, Mama, you haven't told us anything about this birthday party, so what, what are we going to do? And Mrs. Piggy says, well, it is a surprise because I talked to Farmer Brown and I rented him his East 40 field over here. You know, it's a nice, you know, that's where he always had the corn planted and the wheat. And it's a nice field. And right now, he doesn't have anything planted in it. So we're going to go over there, and that's where your birthday is. <laughs> we're going to go to Farmer Brown's field? What fun is that? <laughs> I don't want to go to Farmer Brown's field. She says, boys, now you be good. You don't know what I've got planned for you, so you can't say that. Now, if we get over there and you don't like it, then I tell you what, you can go home. Whichever one of you all that doesn't like it, you can go home. But the rest of us will stay and we'll have a good time because you don't know what M Mommy has got planned. <laughs> well, Piggly says, let's go, boys. You know Mama. Mama always plans a nice birthday party for us, so let's be positive and let's see what's going on. So they walked over, and they didn't see any of their friends again 
Ugh. They didn't see any of their friends, and they thought, this is the first day, and I think practically forever, that we haven't seen any of our friends. So Squiggly said, <laughs> you know, boys, I think the reason why we don't see any of our friends is because I bet you that Mama invited all of them, and they're already over there. Do you reckon that might be, girls and boys? Do you think that might be happening? I don't know. Well, they walk down the lane, and they walk through the gate. Oh, my heavens above. Woof! My heavens above. Lordy, 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 have mercy. Do you know what there was in that field? There was a bouncy house. <gasps> there was a slide, a water slide that was so tall they couldn't hardly climb up there. They had to climb. Oh my gosh, it was so tall. Oh my gosh, for sakes. And shoo down. Then there was all other kind of games. There was the games where you go pop, 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 and see if you can get a prize. and Just all sorts of games. Mama Piggy had been saving for over a year for that sixth birthday. And she hid all of the money that she could have that she made in a little coffee can up on the jar, up, I mean, up on the shelf. And Piggly Wiggly and Squiggly, they knew that was where Mama saved all of her money at. And you know what she had done that whole entire year? Anybody that wanted Mama Piggy to sew for her or for them, their children, came to Mama Piggy because they knew how good of a sewer Mama Piggy was. And so they came to her and poor Mama Piggy set up every night until midnight sewing and sewing and sewing <laughs> just to make the money for the boy's birthday. Now isn't that a sweet thing to do? Yes. Well the boys just went, whoa, looky here, oh my gracious, oh my gracious, oh my gracious, and there was Petunia Pig and Patty Pig, and there was Sally Skunk and her little baby sister, who was about, I think she was three years old at that time. Sadie, Sadie Skunk was there with Sally, and this is the first birthday party she'd ever been to, and she thought she was so grown up. And there was Allie the Alligator, and Ollie the Otter, and Rocky the Raccoon, and his little sister, Ruth the Raccoon. <laughs> Everybody was there. Farmer Brown was there. Mrs. Farmer Brown was there, too. It was just, I mean, it was just wonderful. Well, the boys just had a good time. And so Mama Piggy brings out, a couple hours later, Mama Piggy brings out this cake. And she had three great big cakes. And they were put together, like, Here's one cake, and here's one cake, and then here's the other cake. And they kind of went rumpy, 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 like that. Because they were round cakes, and they all back come together. And she frosted them all, and guess what she frosted them? You guessed it. The first cake was red, the second cake was blue, and the third cake was green, just like their shirts were. She even had a lady come in from town and take pictures <laughs> of these of the whole entire party. And she wrote their names on the on the cake, Piggly, Wiggly, Wiggly and Squiggly. Wiggly. <laughs> and Squiggly was a hard name to put because it had more letters than Piggly and Wiggly did. Well, this cake was beautiful. Oh my gracious sakes. And the ice cream, the ice cream was the kind that had chocolate and vanilla and strawberry all in the one box. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I forget the name of it now, yeah. but it was good, it was good, Neapolitan, yeah. Neapolitan ice cream, and it was awful good. Have you ever had Neapolitan ice cream? Boys and girls, you need to go have Mama get some because it's really, really, really good. Well, they ate their cake, and they ate their ice cream, and of course they sang happy birthday. Oh, my gracious sakes. Now, we're not going to sing happy birthday right now because Grandmommy's voice isn't too good today. However, you girls and boys know how happy birthday to you, how that song goes. So if you want to sing happy birthday when you go home today to the Three Little Piggies, I think that would be very nice. Well, 
they got through, they opened up some of their presents, and everybody brought a present. That's where they were when they couldn't find him to play with. They finally figured it out, and Squiggly says, you know, I think that's where the boys and girls were when we wanted to play. They, they, they disappeared on us, and that's where they were. They were in town. I bet you that's what they were doing. They were buying all these nice presents for us. Oh, they got, they got all sorts of things. They got baseball caps to wear. They got a ball and a bat to play with. They got a football, and they got a volleyball and a basketball and a baseball and a football. Ooh times three because they had to each one had to have one they got clothes to wear to school the next day they got balloons that had happy birthday on them they got uh, roller skates and they just got everything that they could think of and so anyway mama piggy says okay now we've all ate and we've had a good time so let's go and play some more well, they went and played, and all of a sudden, Sally Skunk comes up to Mama Piggy, and she said, uh, Mama Piggy, there's something wrong, and, and I'm afraid to tell you what might be wrong. And Mama Piggy says, now you know, Sally Skunk, you can tell me anything. What's wrong? And by the way, boys and girls, we forgot all about the little bad wolf. He was there, of course. I don't know how come Grandmommy forgot all about him, but he was there. And he had such a good time because this was his very first birthday party he had ever been to. And he didn't have a present. And he came up to Mama Piggy and said, I don't have a present for the three little pigs. And Mama Piggy says, And so little piggy went close, or little wolf went closer to her, and she says, "That's okay, little bad wolf, because I got three presents, and I put your name on them because I knew that you probably just really couldn't afford a present. So I picked something out that you're going to give the boys and girls, or the boys." And little bad wolf started crying, and he says, "Oh, thank you, Mrs. Piggy, Mama Piggy, Mrs. Piggy, Mama Piggy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you." And she says, "That's all right." And she gave him a great big hug. Yeah. Well, now in the meantime, like I said, Sally Skunk has come up to ground to Mrs. Piggy, and she says, "Something is wrong, and I'm afraid." Uh -oh. And Mrs. Piggy said. On a nice day like this, what's wrong, sweetheart? She said, well, you know, my little sister, three years old Sadie, I can't find her. Oh, no. And I don't know where she's at. And, and, and I'm afraid. That's okay. She takes her by the hand, and they walked over to Farmer Brown and Mrs. Farmer Brown. And Farmer Brown says, Hi, Mrs. Piggy, isn't this a lovely party? Are you having a good time? And Mrs. Piggy says, Well, we were, but Sally Skunk here, and she's holding Sally's hand, she said, Sally Skunk has a problem. And Farmer Brown says, Well, little Sally P or Sally Skunk, what's your problem? And she goes, I can't find my sister Sadie. <laughs> Now that's okay, Sally Skunk, that's okay. What did you say her name was again? It's Sadie. Okay, I'll go find Sadie. Now you just stay here with Mrs. Farmer Brown and Mama Piggy and we'll see if we can't find Sadie. Boys and girls, to be continued Friday. <sighs> I know, but just think what all you can have to look forward to, okay? Where is Sadie? Bye.